Roto 40.30 quick operation video. On the left hand side, the red knob, this is your forward, neutral, and reverse selector. The rabbit and the turtle, this will be your first gear and second gear. First gear is turtle. You can get up to 14 miles an hour. It's very powerful, a lot of torque in first gear. Second gear, you can get up to 25 miles an hour. Not as much torque. Most people do drive it around on somewhat flat ground on second gear because it's not as jerky. Horn, lights, and turn signals are all going to be on this stick on the left hand side. Horn, lights, turn signals, and then brights if you press forward. Windshield wipers on and off. If you press and hold the green, it will give you window cleaning solution. All right, let's take a look at our main dashboard here. Let's go through the blue buttons. This will be for your beacon, your safety flashing light on top of the machine. This will be for your cab lights, rear cab lights, and boom lights. These lights are all optional. Your machine may or may not have those lights. Parking brake release. Auxiliary one, two, and three. If you had more than auxiliary A and B coming out at the end of the boom, right there, this is where you would activate them. I have not seen any machines in the US that have more than just the A and B line. On the very bottom, the blue buttons. The one on the very left does nothing, it's blank. This one will do the screen brightness and darkness. So you can adjust your screen dark to bright. This blue button will set the temperature of your air conditioning. This button decides the fan speed. And then if you have it on A for automatic, it works off of this temperature that you have preset. This is your time of day. This is another optional auxiliary function, not available in the United States. If you press the menu button one time, this will bring you into a load screen. This is how much weight you are currently picking up. This is how far off the ground you are. This is how far boomed out you are. This square with the dot in the center, you are the dot. As you begin to load the machine, that dot will move towards the 100% load mark. As you rotate, that dot will move around this box. The bottom right three icons, you can set limitations. So if you're working in a building and you don't wanna ever have to worry about hitting the ceiling, you can set your limitations. So right now, somebody has it to where it will not go above two degrees or below zero. Let's see what our boom in and out is. Somebody has it set where it will be stuck between 51 feet and 65 feet. To make these changes, you press and hold. If any of them are highlighted white, that means that the limitation is active. You want to turn them all off for sure, unless you're working somewhere that you want to limit your movements. These other blue buttons are not connected to anything on this screen. Now here, you can set the speed of your turret from 75, 50, 25, and then back up to 100. This is a tear weight. It will zero out how much weight you currently have to tell you how much more weight you have added. This will be your attachment selection. If you have forks, you need to select forks and then press OK. 
If you have a different attachment, then you need to select that attachment and press OK and it will accept it. If you press menu, it will always bring you back to your original screen. On this panel, you have RPM control. You have the selection between cab mode and man basket mode. The red key is a bypass key. All the way left is normal operation. That's where it should always be. In the center is lockout. The machine becomes a car when you have it in lockout mode. It turns off all your hydraulics. All you can do is drive it like a car. You also have bypass mode. Bypass mode will give you 30 seconds to do whatever you want to do with the machine. It bypasses everything, all the safeties. Notice how you must hold it there. And when you let go, it springs back to the lockout mode. I'm going to put the key back all the way left to normal operation. Don't forget to do that. Kill switch kills everything. Ignition. Flashers. 12 volt outlet. All right, let's go into the side panel. The side panel. Parking brake. Differential lock if equipped. Man Basket Rescue. This is a button that you're probably never going to have to use, but if there's a guy in the Man Basket and he has a medical emergency, you're going to follow these directions to rescue him. All right. Three different steering styles. Most people drive it in the four-wheel steering. Here is suspension so everything within this box is suspension related the hand if you have the hand turned on that means that you are controlling the suspension that's when you use all of these the front is controllable in the right and the left the rear moves up and down as one so that's why you have the double controls in the front and the single in the back. So you can make the front right raise and lower. Front left raise and lower. Entire rear raise and lower. If you select this, this will lock out your suspension. It will become stiff. If you select here, it will be automatic suspension. What it does is it does its best to match your machine to the ground that you're on. So if you're on a two degree slope, it's gonna try to slope your machine two degrees to match the ground that you're on. Okay, so let's go into outriggers. Everything in this panel is outrigger related. The buttons that are used the most are gonna be these two. This is automatic outrigger deployment and retraction. Notice how this one has an arrow going out and down, out and down. This one is up and in. So this, if you press and hold it and you do not let go, it will send your outriggers all the way out to their maximum extension and then it will automatically level you. This one will bring your legs automatically back up and in. You just have to press and hold till it completes the entire procedure. Now, sometimes you can't use the automatic because there might be a wall in the way or a car or a port -a john So what you do, instead of pressing and holding it, you press it one time to turn it yellow. You now send your legs out to where you want them. Front right, in and out. Front left, in and out. Back right, in and out. Back left, in and out. 
You send your legs to where you want them, to their maximum extension. You can then press and hold this button and it will finish setting up for you. It will complete the process. Keep in mind, if you start with your legs all the way in and you press and hold this button, the legs come all the way out. So all the way in equals all the way out. But if you have pre-selected a footprint and then you hold this button, it will finish setting up at your pre-selected footprint. This shows that we're sitting at zero. This shows that we are, our tires are in alignment and this shows that we're completely level. I am currently not in alignment and I am not completely level. I'm sitting on a little bit of a grade just to make this video here. All right, let's go over the joystick. Joystick, you must squeeze it. It's got the dead man switch right here. So you gotta squeeze it. If you pull back, the boom will raise. Forward, boom will lower. Thumb roller up, your boom will extract. Thumb roller down, your boom will retract. Red is rotate. So if you press red and you go to the right, you're going to rotate. Press red and go left, you're going to rotate left. Oh, to tilt your forks, it's right and left. You hold down no buttons and just go right and left and your forks will tilt. Here is an explanation of all the movements. Your joystick does fold up and it locks into place, you have to press this black button for it to come back down. Now to do your auxiliaries, that would be the hydro lines up there at the front of the boom. To do the auxiliaries, you hold down any yellow and you go forwards for the A line, yellow and backwards will be the B line. Now I'm not sure if your machine has the second joystick, the left hand. But if it does, the left hand joystick only does two things for you. It controls the rotation and it controls your auxiliary lines. So you really don't need this. This joystick does everything. This is just supplemental. So if you were to go right or left, you would rotate right or left. Forward line A backwards line B you will have um, a video monitor up there if it's installed your two pedals down here brake pedal throttle pedal in here optional for a radio all the wires are actually in here here's the wires you just got to buy a radio the speakers are actually back here, already installed from the factory. You just gotta buy a radio for it. So if you have any questions, give me a call. I'll walk you through anything that I need to. All right, thank you.